Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you my recipe for homemade sub rolls. They are so, so good and simple to make. And if you are looking for more easy, healthy recipes, um, definitely subscribe to my channel because um, I have tried and true delicious recipes to share with you. Um, I have a big family, seven kids, I have in-laws, nieces, nephews, I feed a lot of people and I'm telling you, everybody loves my food and I have a bunch of recipes to come that you're gonna wanna use these for. Like my French dip sandwiches, I hope to release in the next week or two on these sub rolls. Oh my gosh, so good. So I've got my KitchenAid mixer. You can use a bread maker and if you don't have a bread maker or a mixer, you can do it by hand. To start with, I'm going to put in one cup of lukewarm water. And then I have some organic half and half, which I'm gonna put a half a cup of that, which makes the bread really good. Okay, a tablespoon of olive oil. and a tablespoon of butter. I have some organic cornmeal. Organic because corn has a lot of GMOs, so you wanna try to get it organic. So one fourth a cup of the cornmeal. One teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm using four cups of organic bread flour. You can use all-purpose flour. I really don't find that there's much difference between the two when I make bread, to be completely honest. And last but not least is our yeast. And I'm gonna put three teaspoons Okay, and that's it. And so next you put your dough hook on there, lock, lock it in place, and I'm gonna put it to setting number two for eight minutes, and it's gonna need for eight minutes, okay? And then I'll be back. Okay, eight minutes is up. So um, now we have to give it some rising time. So you can go ahead and detach the bowl and I like to take some cooking spray just lift the dough out and take some cooking spray and just spray so it doesn't stick and just form it into a ball okay pop it back in the bowl and cover it with um, saran wrap or a towel I'll just put a towel over it and we're gonna give that one hour of rising time. All right, so I'll be back in an hour. We're gonna cut them, shape them, butter them, bake them. All right, so our dough has risen beautifully. And now I'm going to take some of the cornmeal and sprinkle it on the work area. Okay, a couple teaspoons or so, and then just kind of gently pull this out and press it down into the cornmeal. Kind of flip it so it gets on both sides. Okay, and we're going to just cut it into about seven to eight pieces. And then, so cut it like that and then just shape it you want to kind of round the edges a little bit and shape it into a sub roll, okay? So almost like a breadstick, but a little wider. And I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees and I have a baking sheet that I'm going to spray lightly with some cooking spray. And so we're going to go ahead and transfer that over. Okay, and then cut another one. Okay. 
So it's kind of shaped already when you cut it. So you just maybe round those edges a little bit. That's so big, I'm gonna cut that in half, okay? You can do some big, some small, whatever you like. So I'm gonna cut and shape the rest of these and then, and then I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so um, I've got seven here. I've got two that are kind of really big for the bigger eaters and then some smaller ones, you know, for my younger girls. Um, and so next step is just take some soft butter and just butter the tops. Okay, and then take a sharp knife and just put like three slits, diagonal slits in the center on the longer ones, uh, maybe four slits. Okay, um, and now we're actually gonna give it just a little more rising time, okay? So another 30 minutes for them to rise and then I'm gonna bake them at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, that's it. And then um, we'll check back after that and I'll cut one open and show you how good they look. Okay, so these delicious sub rolls are done. They look amazing. Look at that, yummy. They're gonna make some wonderful sandwiches for lunch today. And um, I went ahead and cut this one open so I could kind of walk it up a little closer to the camera. You could see how good that looks, nice. And um, just a reminder about fresh bread, it does not keep very long um, on the counter. I use a nice big Tupperware container for mine and keep it sealed really tight, two to three days at most. Um, always good for two days, sometimes by, by day three it might start to get moldy. So if it's too much bread, then definitely store it in the fridge or the freezer. So I hope you guys will make these and share your results with me. And thank you so much for watching. And remember the drill, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. Have a great, have a great day.